Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to, uh, if you want to say teach, you just can, it's just going to be watching me do this and I'm going to explain throughout what I did. There's so many better people to watch than me, but, you know, I'm here and if you stick around and watch it, I would be very, very thankful if you did. Um, but this tutorial is a, um, kind of a dead eye gash, um, thing and it took probably about an hour to do and um, it's not too hard it's using basic uh, some basic latex um, you know a round sponge to block out the eye uh, tissue paper cotton balls the basics and um, I hope you enjoy it and stick around if you want to see how I did it and first yeah. you take well, actually, first, we're going to lay down our eyebrows. So that's going to be done with a regular school washable glue stick. And uh, it's going to be probably three or four coats with the Graftobian translucent powder uh, in between each coat just to try and hide my eye. Um, and then uh, we'll move on from there. Now it feels like my eyebrows gone, <coughs> and um, so we're going to move on to the next step. Um, the next step in this is going to be, uh, I took one of the round sponges, and what I did was, um, since sponges normally would suck up the paint, what I did was cover it with a layer of liquid latex, actually I covered it with two layers of liquid latex, and then I... Um, powdered it so it's smooth on the front and it'll take paint pretty nice and then we're going to um, probably cut that down a little bit and um, uh, I would advise cutting the sponge before you put the latex on it um, and that seems like it'd be pretty good and then we'll just hide the edges with tissue paper and latex um, when you could, I'm uh, sorry, I keep kicking the camera. Um, you could attach this with spear gum or you could attach it with liquid latex, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, Mirror and spear gum don't get along. I once ripped my wife's eyebrows off with it when I first started. And uh, ever since then, I've been sticking with latex. So, we're going to do that. Um, when you do this, you want to avoid getting the liquid latex in your eyelashes or anything like that. So you want to kind of stick around the perimeter of where the sponge is going to go. And um, do just do a couple layers of latex as a base. And then we'll get into attaching the actual sponge. And then hair dryer between. Just to speed things up. If not, you can uh, just, just stick around and wait. But uh, I'm going to do a little quicker. Once it's dry, you can um, you can powder it if you want to, and then do another layer if you're worried about your sponge sticking to your face and you know, then pulling the latex off. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a sponge, and I haven't had a problem with it um, here lately, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, now once you're at this point, you want to go ahead and powder um, the surrounding areas. Uh, be careful to not get the powder you know directly in your eye or anything like that no no i wouldn't say it's going to burn you but you know it'll be very uh it'll be irritating so just keep out of your eye uh, now we're going to take the um sponge and i'm going to actually i'm going to trim a little bit more off of that just way that way i can get it um you know kind of under my brow line I have a I have a heavy brow compared to a lot of other people and uh, I'm gonna take it and just so I can get under there that way it'll be a little smoother when when we put the, uh, the sponge on and uh, also 
I'm not going to put any latex on the back of this sponge. I'm going to put it on my face, wait for it to get a little bit tacky, and then stick the sponge to it. You might want to go a little heavier too with the latex this time, just so it gets a little soaked into the sponge you're using. Hold it there for a second. It's hard to see with one eye. Okay, now we're just going to take some toilet paper and uh, tear it into squares and then we're going to split the squares um, so you only have one ply instead of two. And uh, you shouldn't need too, too much for this, but you never know. We're going to take latex and uh, what I think I'm going to do with this is I'm going to create a split probably from here going down to a point here. Same thing on this side, I'm going to bridge the gap between my nose and my eye and uh, we'll have more of an ga open gash. Uh, rather than just one eye missing. Uh, it seems like every, all the, a lot of the videos I watch, it's, you know, a hole where the eye is and then, you know, the skin peeled up around it. So I think I'm going to go with a little more of a gash. Just to, you know, I don't want to copy anybody or step on anybody's toes, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so now we got a nice point down here. We can actually go a little wider just to make sure that the uh, toilet paper sticks to it. And you can use um, anything for this, really. Um, you know, I'm going to do, I might do a few layers of toilet paper just to get the, the base, uh, structure down, but, um, I might switch over to cotton balls and roll them out and then get to get that final gash. I split it into the one ply and then split it in half again. I think I may, yeah, I'm going to split it one more time. And you can, if you want to, use the pieces with the edge on it. Um, I like to, if you're blending it into the skin, be sure to keep, hard to have your ragged edge to where it's blending just because, uh, you get a little less, uh, seam there. And you're going to take latex and go over it. Ooh, I just realized that I did not shave and now I have latex in my beard. So, if you're a guy or a girl that has a beard, shave it first. Because this is going to suck. Alright, um, now that that base is done, I think we're only probably only going to need one layer of tissue for this because I'm going to come back with the uh, cotton ball and get the rest of it. I'm going to get going again. So what I did was I... Uh, applied the tissue paper and then I did three layers of latex over top of it and um, I did not powder um, between each layer. I'm going to do that now and uh, get this all taken care of and then what we're going to do is switch over to cotton, ball, uh, cotton balls and give a kind of a definitive cut around this area and uh, we'll be taking a metal spatula and you know trying to get the cut, cut right. Now you should be able to take a cotton ball, a regular beauty store cotton ball, or you know, from wherever you get them from, and um, you should be able to find an end on it somewhere, kinda, and you should be able to unroll it. Now of course we don't need this whole length, so what I'm going to do is find a few ends, and then I'm going to split the cotton ball in half, just so that way you get you know, a little more out of it. So what I'm going to do is, um, Lay down some more cotton where you kind of want it to be. I don't want it to cover that edge. Because uh, if you look, you can still see, uh, I can't see of course, but uh, you can still see the edge of the sponge right there. The rest of it blended in pretty well to the eye. So we're going to take that and start at the top and work our way around that edge. Pull that down. And um, I'll, <clears throat> I'll let you know on a tip that I learned. I actually learned it from uh, Charlie Short, his YouTube videos. And um, 
instead of using a sponge or a brush or something to try and get that cotton ball uh, saturated, you just take your finger with some latex and uh, you're gonna go in and smooth it out. So once you get that fully saturated in the area you want, you want to take a metal spatula. Or you just want to follow what you've done. So now that you have that that uh, cut right there, that crease, we're going to do that again on the other side. And uh, same thing this time um, with the uh, latex on the finger. Smooth it out. All right, now once you have that thoroughly soaked with latex, it does take quite a bit to um, get it to lay down right. Uh, same thing, metal spatula, wherever you want your edge to be. Now you have that cut, and um, I'm going to go ahead and hit that with a hair dryer and try and get it to dry up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in right around the brow area and right underneath. And uh, we're going to give it uh, kind of a rough, uh, meaty texture. Uh, just, you don't want too much here because it's going to be black. Um, but here, definitely, where you're going to have some uh, exposed flesh and up right above the brow we're going to hit that with the uh, cotton buds and liquid latex um i'm going to powder this and I probably will do one more layer uh, actually we'll do the uh the meaty parts and then uh, i'll do one or two coats of liquid latex just to seal everything in that way when we go to paint you get a little little better finish all right, now we're going to do those uh, small meaty parts. And what I like to do is the same, I only use one uh, for this. Uh, same stuff, I like to just take a few pieces off. All right, now in that same, um, we're going to take the latex and put it in that general area here and up here. And then we're going to stick the latex to it. And then I think this time I'm actually going to use a sponge to... Um, soak the latex that way if I get any stringiness that pulls off it'll kind of hang into the tissue and kind of pull up off the off the piece I get that cotton pushed in there pretty well that way when you go back with the latex on the sponge you don't have it uh, the chunks pulling off rather than you'll get a little bit of the, the stringiness off of it you see how the, you get those, um, you get the weird chunks down at the bottom, the weird string is up at the top. And, uh, I think I'm going to go around it one more time with latex. I don't think we need to seal it too, uh, too much. At this point, we're pretty... Uh, I wouldn't say dry, but we're close. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with uh, powder. Careful if your latex isn't fully dry or, or to the point where it's not tacky. Um, at least to your fingertips. If you go to powder it and you're using brush uh, similar to this, you can see I've got a few here, then your latex will gum up in this brush and it is hell to clean. Uh, I'm going to use cream makeup for this and we're going to be using the Ben Nye FX uh, master bruise wheel all right for the like I said we're going to be using the master bruise wheel and for the sponge I like to tear the ends of it off to give it a rougher texture Rather than laying on one, I guess one big flat color, um, you'll get you know, more of a blotchiness, more of a stipple. 
doing it this way. I'm going to start with this base red right here. I don't 100% know if they have names for each one of the uh, colors, but it's the red on the Master Boots wheel. And um, I'm going to time lapse through this part. It's just, I'm going to be going red over all of it for the time being. Alright, now that we have a uh, base red on here, kind of in a stippling pattern, I am going to uh, switch over to let's switch over to the Ben Nye Professional Death Wheel, and I'm going to bring that up more to what my natural, or at least in these areas on the outside. Um, back up to a uh, more natural skin tone and this is the yellow I'm speaking of it's more of a goldy nasty yellow looking color um, but for me it's a three-step system oh actually four step I like to have the red base and then I like to do the yellow the uh, I guess tan and then this flesh color right in the middle uh, to bring everything up. And we're going to move on to that tannish color right there. It's pretty close. You can still tell. Um, I need to figure out a way to get that to blend out a little easier. And we're going to move on to that middle color right away and then just try and Try and get rid of some of that. You know, if you need to go further out on your skin to get a better gradient, you can do that as well. Which is what I'm doing. Okay, now that we have the... Uh, I just used those two wheels to get the outside uh, taken care of. The inside, I'm going to be using um, cream again. And I'm going to be using uh, red, uh, light red, a dark red, and a black to get the inside. And then we'll do uh, various parts on the flaps. What I like to do is uh, start with the lighter colors and then work into the darker ones. Especially with, uh, for me, it's easier with grease paints um, to, you know, get in with the light colors, get your base down, and then go back with the darker colors and get your edges uh, you know the center of the eye and stuff like that so I'm gonna start with the light and I'm using a um, square small square brush and um, a cinema secrets red you want to make sure to get um, you know all of the areas the inside of the flaps of the skin you have. I'm gonna try and get those too. Now that we had the light color done, I'm gonna go in with a dark, uh, darker red, and go in where all of the uh, where the cut is around the edge, and right, right there at the brow, to give it a little more definition. And then we're gonna go with the black and black out the eye. Now that you've got that in there, we're going to go in with the black. And um, black's a pretty dark color, so same brush, you know, get, it, get in there and see. Alright. Now, um, the black is going to go, um, you know, it might have a few places here to give a little more darkness but I think uh, I'm gonna go back with thick blood um, and you know try and get that scabbiness weird nasty stuff in there so just for now to find the eye socket now where I think we're done I think we're pretty done with paint at the moment so we're gonna move into the thick blood and then we'll get the actual dripping blood in there with it um, Moving on to the scab blood, or actually, it is the Ben Nye thick blood. 
Um, you can, if you want, you can um, thin this down a little bit. Waterworks, uh, you can put actually put a little bit with them with uh, liquid latex and you know mix it in there. But what I'm gonna do because I want that congealed nasty factor is I'm just gonna take it out um, with my metal spatula and then uh, just kind of get it in some of the cracks. Not too much, you know. You just need just enough to get it that weird, gross look. So um, once I find my spatula. And here it is. What I'm going to do is uh, I want to get some in the eye area right there. And you can, um, instead of doing the cotton to get that meaty texture, you can actually use this and kind of glob it on there and then move it around how you'd like to get that, that texture in there. I like to do the cotton first. We're going to go in with, actually I just have some um, regular uh, Halloween store blood um, that we're going to use for this. So I ran out of the uh, other stuff I had. Alright, that's pretty good with the regular uh, way of doing it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a sponge and do a little bit of a, a stipple on the outside of the wound and uh, hit it with a hair dryer real quick and then dab off any excess and that'll leave a, a blood stain around the outside and just make it look a little better. Back to what I was saying, very messy part. Um, it doesn't have to be, but I like to do it this way. I don't like drowning stuff with blood, but uh, today I think I will. There we go. And uh, I hope that came out well, better than I, th I think it came out better than I thought it would, but like I said, you guys decide, please leave some comments and, uh, you know, subscribe, hit the like button, it'll help me out a lot. Um, follow me on Instagram if you'd like, it's uh, Lee's Effects, L-E-E-S-F-X-X, -X. and uh, same on Facebook, it's same spelling and everything, just search it, that'd be great. Um, but this is the missing eye gash, whatever you want to call it, uh, tutorial if you want to call it that. Everything I'm going to do is going to be, like I said in the beginning, please if you see something I did wrong or if you have suggestions or anything like that, please let me know. I'd be, you know, constructive criticism, uh, constructive criticism is always welcome. Um, I... I think I'm going to label these do better tutorials because I always want you all to do better than me. I want you to take anything that I may have taught you, even if it's something as small as tearing a sponge into a stipple, you know, pattern, take it and do something better than I did. And, uh, you know, that's really what I'm here for. And um, I hope you all like the dead eye gross look. And, um, you know, I'll be doing some face painting, body painting kind of things in the future as well. But I'm particularly, uh, my skill set's a little better in the core uh, stuff. Um, but if you like any of my stuff, please comment below, like my page, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys later.